What up, A Pushers? It's exam day, right? I got Spencer here on a special stand. We'll see if it'll work. Hope everybody's ready. No, no, no. Don't go anywhere. Lay down. They want to see you. Lay down. Yeah, I got to hold on to him. He's, uh, <laughs> he's not uh, doing too well. All right, but we have a really special uh, intro. For you guys uh, to listen to. Um, hold on, I don't even have my headphones on here. Can't even hear myself. There we go. Uh, let's uh, let's see if we can get this intro going. Uh, really special guest star on our intro. Hopefully you guys like it. Uh, here you go. Yeah, that's good stuff, right? All right. Uh, glad to see everybody. Come on, buddy. Lay down. Lay down. Come on. Lay down. <laughs> He's too nervous. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Lay down. You're good. Okay. He's good. Uh, we all got our uh, our stuff on, right? I got my boa. I got my American flag. Uh... All right, yeah. Hope everybody's uh, well rested. I know we got this. Um, let's, uh, let's go. There we go. That's a little better. There we go, Spence. See? You can lay. Nope. <laughs> no, lay down. Lay down. No, lay down. Come on. Come here. Come on. He doesn't like being up high. He thinks he's going to get a bath or something. Come on, lay down. I got to hold him. He's going to jump down. Uh, he looks like a seal. I know. He's so cute. Right? Um, all right. So, what are we going to talk about today? We're going to, uh, I got, I got some more flags, right? Right here. Right, buddy? You got a flag? You want a treat? Let's see if I'll get you to stay up here. I got a big one in here. Maybe that'll, look at his, his tail is going. Oh, look at that thing. Now lay down. Lay down. There you go. Come on, lay down. Lay down. He's so nervous. All right. Uh, well, he used. I give him a bath on a on a real tall table. That's how I give him a bath. Really? Why would uh, Cameron? You're saying that, that you think it's going to be on reconstruction? Um, I think that would be an easy one. Um, if it is on reconstruction, you know what I mean? Make sure you cover, you have those, uh, that terms, um, sheet that I have, uh, that I printed for you guys. So you remember things, right? Um, and any other, good morning, Alex. Good morning, Alex. Um, Spencer is a mood. What does that mean, Mitchell? What does that mean? Huh? He's like, I don't know. Lay down. Lay down. Come on. Nope. <laughs> Lay down. Okay, I'll give you a regular treat. You want a regular treat? There you go. There you go. Lay down. Why would you lay down? Chill out. Uh, what did you say? I agree with Jules. I can't. It's hard to see with these glasses on, man. I'll be passing away before this exam. Uh, I know. Good boy. Lay down. I got you. I'll sit here and pet you the entire time if you lay down. Lay down. Spencer, sit. Good boy. Now lay down. Well, at least he's sitting. I don't know. Um, yeah. So, I don't know. I didn't have much planned today. You guys are, you're good. I mean, not much I'm going to say, uh, you know, as far as anything. But if you have questions, I know he's trying. He's just nervous. I don't know what's going on. He set up this whole thing in my room. He put the bed on top of a table, on top of a tire. Yeah, it's like one of my old tires is on the bottom. And then I have this barrel that's sitting on top of that. And then a piece of plywood and then his bed. And then American flag, uh, 
uh, Tau, right? I had to had to go full. Um, I'm scared my answer isn't going to submit. Yeah, like I understand that. Uh, hold on, I'm gonna bring my screen a little closer so I can see these questions a little bit better. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I would I would really um, uh, you know, I would try the copy and paste thing. Rather, I mean, if you haven't tried it yet, if you've done the submit, that's fine. Just keep doing that. But if you're going to um, do the, you know, I would say copy and paste is the easiest one because then you can see what you're actually doing, right? Um, and what you submitted because if you, you know, save it and then you, you know, you attach it and then submit it, you know, you have to just have to make sure that whatever you saved was what you want. Um Oh, what I think it's going to be? I have no idea. I don't think it's going to be on the progressive movement because they already did that one, like an official one. Um, you know what I mean? It's I tried to guess on the ace, and they put it on a subject. They did it on the Critton Compromise, which was full-on garbage because um, that wasn't even in the ace book. If you had friends who were an ace last year, that, that was... Um, oh, no. The AP site doesn't work on your computer? Sit down. Sit. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on. Lay down. Just lay down so you're not so nervous. Lay down. Lay down. There you go. See? You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. You're not going to fall. I'll hold you. Um, Mr. Green knows what the boy submitted for calc. No, I don't. How do I know that? Um, I'm sorry about that, Adam. That doesn't make sense, um, that it doesn't work for your computer. Um, I'm assuming you tried it a bunch of times. Um, yeah, I think, um, yeah, I'm, <laughs> Spencer's like, what am I doing here? Um, I, I really hope the storm doesn't knock out power, especially down in Boca or like the Wi-Fi or anything like that. Um, You're just going to pull your router. Uh, and he is a little shy. He's just nervous. He gets nervous because he doesn't know what's going on. Um, what are you supposed to title the document? Uh, you're just supposed to title it with your name and APID, which you everybody should have already gotten um, your e-ticket. And you're going to log in. Uh, either through the email or through the AP website, okay? Um, all our AP classroom work on my phone. Oh, well, that sucks. That's I didn't know about that, Adam. I'm sorry. You should have told me about that before. We could have seen if we could fix it. I wouldn't try and do anything weird today. Um, I can't tell you that, Christopher. Uh... That's, you know, we're on public information right now. So you got to, you know, if you have problems and something, your Wi-Fi crashes, then you can't turn it in. Um, but if I use my other email for Google, yeah, if it's, as long as it's not on your computer and you're not using what it is. Um, oh, Alicia, I mean, like I said, if something happens, um, you know, email me, uh, immediately and let me know, and then we'll, we'll get it in and we'll turn it in. I mean, if something happens to your Wi-Fi, you're going to be fine. Okay. They don't, they'll know, um, Jules, I'm sure you did good. Um, you haven't forgotten anything, Tara, you know, August to March, that's, uh, you can't, you can't forget, uh, um, Terrace with Tara, right? Um, yeah, I mean, but you would have to email, Kale, you would have to email it to yourself if it's on another device, right? If you have it in another browser, then you're fine, or another, you know, window, you're fine, um, 
but if you, you know, you might need it. Um, there you go. Um, nice. He's chilling out. Um, okay. Uh, CEO of Call of Wars make million dollars a year. And they can't get good servers. I think, I mean, I think for what you compared to what Ace is going through, the people in Ace, um, I think, you know, this is far and away a lot, a lot better. You lost power this morning, James. Oh, wow. You have power back? Um, yes, and women began to vote in 1920. Yeah, you guys all know that. And you know the 18th and 21st Amendments, right? You know the 1st, the 4th, the 5th, F-I-F, 5th. It can all be done on one device, two windows. Yeah, yeah, definitely, Kale. Put it on two windows and you can attach it or you could copy and paste it. Uh, in and out power. Okay, James. Well, fingers crossed uh, that that doesn't happen. Um during the exam. Um, no, I don't think it's going to be harder. I mean, he kept saying that. The CEO, the guy in charge of all the testing, kept saying it's not going to be harder because they have those those matricians, those, you know, I don't know. They're not pediatricians. They're pediatricians or something like that. Um, said it, they're going to make sure that it's not any harder or... Um, See, you look so regal right now. Look at you, buddy. Uh, it's not going to be any harder or easier. Um, yeah, the spelling and grammar is fine. Um, they didn't say anything about that. The only thing they said was grammarly, that you cannot have that. Um, yeah, but they did try. That's what I'm saying, Hunter. Like, if you don't have any ACE classes, I've talked to the ACE teachers. What they did in College Board compared to ACE is like, you know, uh, the NFL versus a high school team. It's not even close. Um, yeah, and it's not an LEQ. I mean, I really wish it would have been, you know, like five short answer questions. And, uh, you know, you get to choose like three or like seven short answer questions. And you have to choose like five. Um, it's a whole different thing. It's not English. Uh, history writing is a lot different. Right, buddy? I'll give you one more. I don't want to give you too many and you're like sick or something. Um, yeah, it's 50 minutes total. Yeah, we got a tropical storm maybe this weekend. Um, yeah, I got one more. There you go. There you go, buddy. Okay. Um, yes, I'm pretty sure you can print out the docs. Um... I win this round. Yeah, you're right. I did. Um, yeah, San, uh, Santi, it's uh, 50 minutes total. You have 45 minutes to write and five minutes to submit. Don't try going over the 45 minutes because if you miss that submit button, you're done, right? Um, well, obviously, this one's better, Yvonne, uh, obviously. Yeah, he's fine now. He's like... It's like I'm getting petted. I'm good. It just took me a minute to settle down. Not used to being up this high. Right, buddy? Oh, I like that. Yeah. Um, when using outside evidence, should we write it in like two sentences or so? Um, yeah, you can't just mention it. You can't just be like the women's movement, right? You got to talk about like uh, the women's movement and how it led to uh, the amendment. You know, that would help you uh, that it led to the 19th Amendment and it led to uh, women gaining a bigger voice in society. Um, and it, which and then you can even bring it all the way. You know, you could say anything more and say, you know, it led to them having a bigger role in World War II um, and which eventually led them into having a permanent role in working class society um to the argument explain why it works but yes yes hunter you have to 
connect that outside evidence and explain why it works with your argument for the prompt. This boa thing is getting out of control. Um, you're all going to get fives. I know. At least threes. Um, no, don't shed tears. You're going to be okay. Um, what do we got here? Just make sure I got all the questions answered. Um, so if like the source is starting uh, the women's movement, we would use the 20th Amendment as outside evidence. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Exactly. I got these I'm falling out. Are you going to go to sleep up there? Huh? I might. Hmm. Your thing's a little off. You got to see the whole red, white, and blue, buddy. Yeah. Um. How can we introduce our outside evidence? Well, I mean, you can introduce it um, depending on what, you know, obviously what the subject is. Uh, you just introduce it as a we weans, as a means to um, really back up what your argument is, okay? So if your argument is about, um, I don't know, we just keep talking about, you know, uh, the women's rights movement, you can back up. Uh, with, you know, the, the prohibition of alcohol um, was started by them. And so it gave them a voice um, and the temperance movement. People listened to what they were saying. So it gave them more confidence. But you just introduce it as some way to back up what you're talking about, uh, what your argument is, uh, Victoria. Does that help? Um, it's a bad thing that I'm a junior and this is the first AP exam I'm taking. No. Because this is the best AP exam. Um, yeah, Anton. Uh, I know you got it. I don't know who you are. I don't think. You're not one of my students. Unless you got a weird name. It's different than your real name. I believe in you, buddy. Um, it's a bad thing with Junior. No, no, no. Uh, how do I link my evidence to my outside evidence? You just talk about, you know, the evidence within your argument and then you're going to link it to you can say in the past it's been shown that that women gain more and more um all the way going back to the revolutionary war they gain a uh a voice in society and then even in the civil war um they dressed up as uh as soldiers and they fought and they helped out um huh that's funny, Christopher. Um, how'd you do? Uh, should we use two or three? You have to use four, uh, Jack. It says it in the rubric. You guys have to have that rubric. Um, this thing right here. You guys have to. You guys have to have this. Oh, that's better. You guys have to have this thing, right? I mean, take advantage of the fact that... Um, you you can use this right um you know use this thing and make sure you're getting all the points um let me go through sorry um yeah i should it's all right mr green i'm here oh i was worried frankie you weren't saying anything if a question says emma says if a question says evaluate the extent of change would your argument be arguing for the most important change yes i know what you're saying the extent of change. So how much change is there because of whatever they're asking? Um, so you would talk about uh, the most important thing, but then also how much change, right? Because you can have really an important change, but it's it's a, a, a change over time, not just one thing, right? Um, I've watched every single Heimler's History video. He is really good. Yes, he is. Uh, that's my goal to be that good in the future, um, and to, you know, really help you guys because, you know, this is, I can always do this for, you know, my plan is to do this, uh, you know, forever is to have videos for my students to be able to watch and, uh, you know, things that we've done in class and things like that. Um, I had to escape Miss McDonald. Um, 
So we need to use at least four of the sources and at least two pieces of outside evidence. Yes. Um, if we have a little extra time, would you suggest hipping an extra doc or describing it? Definitely. You know what I mean? Because that way, uh, that's, I mean, that's a whole point. That's a big deal. Um, you know, put an extra document in there. And then if you didn't get it on the first two, you might get it on that third one. Because they're looking for ways to give you uh, the points. Spencer keeps leaning back into my hand. <laughs> I think he's getting tired. His eyes are like, I don't know. You just need to lay down. Um, how many times a hip? Okay, uh, two. You need two. Uh, and then three. So make sure you have that DBQ worksheet, right? Um, I went over all that. And, oh, I mean, it's on there. So, th so you can check off. Because... I get it. It's going to be hard to remember all of this. Um, yeah, hip, hop, hippity hop, hip, hip, hop, you know. Um, yes, you need two. See, because it says, um, I can't see these glasses on. This is crazy. I probably should just take them off and make it easier on myself. Um, it's right there on the back. You know what I mean? That's your D, analysis and reasoning um for one document and then you can get one point for a second document so you can get total of two points for doing that um the hip so it's historical situation intended audience so if it's you know if you're saying i intended audience or audience and then um purpose and point of view so the point of view is the hardest one to get the historical audience uh is the easiest um the purpose you know what i mean what is the purpose of it um, but not what the, what is the content, right? That's a big part of it. Um, you don't want, you know, the purpose and content are two totally different things, right? The purpose of, and I said it in the, there you go. Just scoot right there. No, you're fine. You're fine. There you go. See, you can lay down. There you go. Um, the, uh, the, the purpose you know, say your Emancipation Proclamation, the purpose of the Emancipation Proclamation is different than its content, right? The purpose of it is a military exercise to get slaves to, um, you know, to do all kinds of things to try and stop um, the South from winning, to do, uh, you know, all kinds of things that they're trying to do. But the, the content of it was he was just freeing slaves in the South. So everybody understand how the difference is between purpose and content? Um yeah, and sourcing the documents, I gave you that that whole worksheet, okay? It's on um, there. You need to print it out. I, I gave you, I gave you taught ways to start the sentence, um, you know, if you can, ways to, you know, start the sentence for each individual one, for H, uh, for A, or I, and then P and P. Um, no, you don't need to use outside. If you're using the things... Uh, for for that, you're using things um, that you want uh, that are going to be used in your argument, uh, Giacomo, all right? Um, I'm going to take these off for a second. If we evaluate a source wrong but explain it and provide evidence, will we still get points or no because we had the wrong interpretation? Um, you know, that's, I'm not, I haven't been a grader yet. Uh, I'm not 100% sure on that, Phoebe. Um that's why I wanted to, I wanted to do grading this year, but you had to teach it for two full years, um, and then you know you could on your third year. So I'm gonna be a grader next year, and I'll be able to answer that. But I know that doesn't help you now. But you know, just try your best. I, you're gonna be fine, Phoebe. I know you're gonna be good. Um, yeah, historical context is the easiest. Okay, that's the easiest thing uh, to use. I describe maybe the purpose and say that's maybe devalue might devalue the document, but I can be like, this is still important though because of X. Yes, but like I said, historical is the easiest and you can do two historicals, okay? They don't have to be one historical and one purpose or one, you know, purpose and one point of view or audience and, um, you know, you can't, you can do both historical. They're, they're not, they just need uh, one of them. Um, What's up? You're good. You can lay down. Okay. Do you need to scoot down? Okay, I'll scoot you down. Because your head is... There you go. 
Hey, your head's on the pillow. Um. Uh, it's ten fifty-five. Oh, we're at a hundred people. Cool. All right. It's not storming up here yet. It was earlier. Uh, it's not storming now. Why is this in my recommended? Not even taking a push yet. I don't know. Because I'm awesome. That's why. Obviously. Bit shot. Wherever you go to you go to Boca High. I wonder. This is my dog, Spencer. Uh Oh, cool. Well, I'll see you next year, maybe on um, online or in class. Who knows yet, right? We had our last faculty meeting of the day of the year. Um, can you guys hear them? He's snoring. Um, yeah, it's uh, we got our last uh faculty meeting of the of the year today and we're gonna go in i think i'm going in on on the 26th for two hours to clean out the room so take down all the some of the pictures not take down all the stuff all the stuff's gonna stay up but just kind of clean it up um what's up julia um and they they don't have a timeline for you guys to come back um it'll definitely be after school is out um if you had stuff in your lockers that you want um, the seniors are going back next week. They have certain specific times. Like I had to sign, a two, I have two hours to do it. So I get to go in, I have to wear a mask, social distancing, I have to turn in my keys. Um, I have two hours to clean out the classroom, get everything I need out of there. Um, so yeah, that's basically all it was, was just telling us that we have to abide by CDC guidelines um, and uh, get all that done. So um, that's basically all they said in the faculty meeting. Right, buddy? Yeah, I listened. I wasn't paying attention, though. I know you weren't. It's okay. Um. Yeah, anybody other questions? Concerns? We'll stay on here for a while, right, Spencer? You're good now. You're nice and relaxed. Yeah. I'm good with this. I had to lower the flag in the background. That was a pain in the butt. No, no, no. You don't get the lockers are already cleaned out. Every single locker is cleaned out. And they have your stuff in a bag. Oh, I'm sure they will, Julia. Uh, but they're going to call you guys in. And uh, you'll be able to pick stuff up. Yeah, I think period three is a good guess. Um, I it's probably going to be that time, Danny, is when you come back to like pick up your lockers because they they took all the books that were in the lockers and they've already checked those back in, so you don't have to use it. Um, Quizlet, I don't know, I don't know, Dominica. Um, where do I put my contextualization? Like I'd start my intro with uh. But would I reference it in my conclusion too? Yes, I would reference it in your conclusion as well. Yes, I would do that, Mitchell. Um, yeah, Navika, I don't know about Quizlet. I don't know. Um, I bet they choose three or four. I don't know. They could choose five. They could choose any of it. I don't know. They, they, you, you never know. Like I said, Ace last year, well, they had some stupid. Uh, stupid things that they used. Um, so I, you never know. Um, and Victoria, yes, they took everything out of your locker and it is sitting in, um, in a bag somewhere. I think it's all in the cafe, all, all in the uh, gym. And so like at the end, after school's out, they'll contact everybody and you'll have like a time that you can come in and grab it. Um, Yeah, his his video on contextualization is very very good. Um, yeah, I hope it's on three too. Um, I think I think if it's on three, I think we're we're gonna be you know really good to go.
Hey, buddy. You want it on three. We're going to be right here waiting for you guys. Do you guys want to do one uh, after the after the test at like three and you can let me know what everything is? Because you can tell me at that point what it was on because that question will never be asked again, right? Um, there'll be multiple prompts from different prompts. Huh. I... But Euro's different, right? Because they don't, that's not a document, Alex. Uh, all right, Mitchell. Um, no, I don't think you will. I think it'll be one. Spencer does want it on period three. Yeah, but Alyssa, this is a document base. So they would have to come up with multiple do I mean, I guess they could, but they never said that that's what they were going to do. But, you know, that doesn't mean um, they might. Oh, is that the spot? Oh, I got it. There it is. Oh, okay. So maybe that's what it's going to be. Okay, cool. That's awesome. I wasn't paying attention to anybody else but but ours, you know, for obvious reasons. Um so yeah, if that's if that's the case, man, you guys can choose. That would be great. Maybe we'll do a short one at like three o'clock. You guys can tune in and sound off or something and tell me how great you did. Right, buddy? Does that sound good? Yep, that sounds good. I'll leave this set up and you can get right back up here. Um, no, we can't choose. Oh, okay. So you're saying it's just everybody's going to be different. Oh, okay. Um, they chose a guy that played Hamilton. That's a nudge, nudge, wink, wink from College Board. Maybe. Um, oh, okay. I got you. I see what you're saying. A random prompt. All right. I did not, Alex. Do tell about the, the Reddit AP scandal. What kind of scandal was it? They had a scandal, buddy. That's crazy. Dinosaurs. You guys hear them? Wait, what's the line from Star Wars movie about Darth Plagius the Wise? I don't know. I don't got that one. College board TikTok bots. I bet they have a bunch of them. They made a fake Reddit page to catch cheaters on the AP exams. Oh, I completely. I bet they caught so many people. Um. Oh. Uh, when you find a streamer, a push teacher petting it. <laughs> uh, I don't normally do this. He just usually comes up for special, special visits. But today I figured he'll get his own, uh, his own place right here. Right? Um, can we do a Zoom? Are you Chutaya? I don't know what that means, Rachel the Great, Rahul the Great. Um, yeah, I mean, we can do a Zoom, too. Um, I'm fine with that. If you guys would rather do a Zoom than a YouTube. Uh... 
Oh, I'm sorry, Nicholas. What school do you go to? Obviously, people know you. Bruh. Uh, this is the AP exam. So, AP U.S. History. Uh, Document-based question. Oh, it's a school in Georgia. Yeah. There's some really good teachers out there, but there's also some not-so-good ones. My son, Nick. <laughs> uh, I heard, uh, what was it, Nick Lopez and Hannah, somebody is your uh, Mr. and Mrs. Boca High. I heard that this morning. I don't know if you guys heard that. How do I start format my conclusion? You say in conclusion. That's it. And then you go on about your argument. Um, oh, you need to, you want some butt scratching? Okay. Well, slide down just a little bit. Slide down, slide down. There you go. There you go. Um, in conclusion, right, um, you know, whatever your argument is, and then you can use some little things that you've talked about in your conclusion to wrap it up, all right? Um, oh, India. We got somebody from India on here. We're international in this place. What? That's cool. Uh, I took the AP GoPro exam. Anybody taking the test, I would recommend leaving at least 45 seconds to submit in case you run into problems, which is a very good uh, point because you do not want to uh, um, uh, we're from America. We're from Florida. America. I mean, I guess I had to say we're from America. Um, uh, somebody gave me thumbs down. Eh, whatever. So nobody's perfect. Uh, nobody got elected. I don't know what Hunter's talking about. Just one essay. Bit shot. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'm going to be famous. Uh, there's not enough stuff in here for me to be famous um oh thank you bitch shot um oh we know you're canadian uh victoria right we know that two dislikes yes i'm a teacher this is a class my classes don't, don't normally look like this uh usually it's like a powerpoint and uh we go through some information um is searching up some documents uh, cheating? I just need clarification. I'm not going to copy and paste, obviously. No, no, no. If you're just like Google searching some documents, you're fine. Um, just don't go on any forums or any social media, okay? Um, that's that's what you don't want to do. Yes, Emily, he is very, very happy. Finally relaxed. I'm going to try to get him to go to sleep here. Um, you can hear him... Uh, uh, is searching up some documents. This is the greatest thing to happen in exam day. Yeah. Well, you know, exam day is going to be, uh, uh, no, I cannot talk in Hindi. Um, that would be, uh, no, I don't even, I don't even know one word, right? You can tell us one word, like, I don't know, tell us a history word, like, uh, um, I don't know, say, give us a phrase and then we can all, and I can try and say it. Um, yeah, bring back Nick. F in chat for Nicholas. Uh, wait, can they see if we use phones? I mean, I think you gave him your phone number. I don't know. Um, I think a lot of it is, um, you know, they're tra tracking your IP address. So if you're still using your Wi-Fi, 
I mean, I just would really not, uh, I would really try and not cheat. Because if you get caught, you're done. Um, Victoria, if I could confuse on the perspective of the document, we are allowed to search up info on the document, like to understand. Yes, 100%. You can Google information, just stay off of um, chat boards and um, uh, social media, okay? I always cover my camera with duct tape, but is it bad that to do that today because they might think I'm cheating? Um, no, I wouldn't think so. They're not going to, I mean, they're, I, I hope they wouldn't be, you know, looking through your, uh, hacking into your computer like that. I think that's illegal. Um, oh, my goggles. Uh, yeah. These things are America, right? I wrote 940 words for Euro. Let's see if I can hit a thousand. I bet you can. Is it legal for them to even look? Yeah. I don't think it's illegal for them to even do that. Can I use a different phone with different wife? I, don't ask me if you can cheat. I, you can't cheat. Um, hey, Amy. Amy's saying hi. Oh, his eyes opened. He knows that. That's my sister. Um, they cannot watch through your camera. It is a Class A felony. It is not stated anywhere explicitly or in the terms of agreement. I read the entire thing. There you go. Alyssa reads the terms of agreement. Um, Mr. Green, what do you think the period is going to be? I'm thinking it's going to be period three or four, but that's just a guess. Um, uh, this is advanced placement, U S history and kit. Um, yeah, yeah. Do not go on Reddit at all. Don't even, you know, don't even have Reddit in your history. Um, and can I have YouTube in the background for music? Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can. Um, can we have other Google Docs? Like we have no. Yes, you can. Are you? Um, definitely, guys. Just don't talk to people. You just you can look stuff up. It's not that hard to not cheat. Yes, just don't talk to anybody. Um, these might be CB bots that are trying to make you slip up. <laughs> um, what is Reddit? Oh, well, that's too much to explain. Um, oh, you guys should see the intro again. I should play it again. For everybody who was not here at the beginning, uh, with our boy Danny on it, right? Um, let me see if I can do this with my left hand. All right, let's here we go. We got Danny, special, special uh, uh, guest on the intro. Um, here we go. <laughs> How awesome was that? That was cool, right? Danny was like, he sent me a little thing. He's like, I played it. I was like, oh, make it longer and I'll, I'll put you inside the uh, intro. Um, yeah. Um, Lo-fi hip hop stream. Yeah. Helen Keller is a fake. I'm kind of convinced. <laughs> no, Emily, she's not. That would be the greatest um, con in the history of the world. When somebody in a lo-fi live stream copy paste their entire response to the 1,000 people watching get banned from colleges. Yeah. What is lo-fi? Lo-fi live stream. You don't know what that is. When somebody, oh, oof, no, oh. um, it's music. Well, I get that it's music, but what does lo-fi mean? Straight from a district insider. Hey, go to the district website and click on the info to make sure they have updated browsers. Ah. Um, come on, she was deaf and blind. She wrote lo-fi. I think at the very top of the district homepage when, with instructions to fix. Oh, that's for my sister. It's, uh, uh, I think that's for, um, 
for Adam, make sure your browser is up to date, right? Your Google Chrome, uh, make sure that thing's up to date. Um, Lo-fi is a type of just chill music. Man, music or production quality in which elements usually regarded as imperfection recording on somewhat. Oh, okay. Oh, I listen to like jazz, man. That's bet. That's the best. How's your opinion on India and Indian? I like India. You guys are cool. Not a lot of people. But we have a lot of people too. I made a TikTok to AP and Bush, and I wish the DBQ was on Monopoly so I could flame College Board and get a little clout. Yeah. Oh, if it was on Monopolies, you guys would be good to go. Um, okay, thanks, Amy. Um, yeah, so Adam, that's uh, my sister said she had a from one of her friends. Um, you can go on the district website and make sure your browser's up to date, and that'll help you out. Um, yes, that's my sister, Victoria A. Green. She's watching at her home in Delray. Um, AP is having issues. So, um, no, you cannot use Internet Explorer. You have to use Chrome or Firefox. Yeah, I love jazz music. I played that in the, in the A-Push, Ambush music radio, right? Remember? Um, no, she's not a teacher. Um, she just has a friend in the district. <laughs> um... Voice, I would not use a voice typer, 100%. I would not do that because that's not you actually typing. That's another thing. Um, I would not use a voice typer personally. They didn't say you can't, but they said you can't use Grammarly. And to me, that's the same thing. Would, would you recommend typing the DBQ in a doc and uploading it? I would recommend typing it into a document and copying and paste it just so you could see it. Um you no, know, you're not getting called out. I'm just letting you know how to fix a problem you have. You know, that's the that's the that's the purpose. Um, oh yeah, Safari. Um, I, I I'm pretty sure that that's fine. Um, and uh, yeah, Amy's the smarter one. Um, don't 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 bully on my page, right? She nobody's who cares? They use Internet Explorer. That's for them. Yeah, Safari works. Uh. Yeah, fly me to the moon. It's good stuff. Haven't had APS radio in so long. I know. I kept asking and nobody said they wanted it. Um, I, in my opinion, writing in a doc and copying it into the exam is the best method. Yes, I think so too. Uh, rather than having to attach something. Because, you know, sometimes you save something and you're like, oh, where did that save to? And then you're looking for it. You don't want to do that. Um, yes, there's a lot going on in this chat. Um, so we type in Google Docs and copy and paste would be the correct format. Yes, that's what I would do. I would, uh, type in Google Docs and copy and paste. You just have to make sure your name and, um, APID are already in there. You don't want to have to worry about that being, and make sure you copy and paste that into, um, that as well. Michael's helping me out with the IT stuff here. Oh. Okay, Ivan. I'll, I'll I'll do some A push ambush radio. I do have an interesting fact. Well, I was waiting for one. Bob Dylan wrote a song about John Brown, and it's pretty good. Did he? Huh. Yeah, Alex. Hopefully, it doesn't do that. Uh, it's not storming by me, but I know it's just. Uh, I would put your name, Sa Santi, not just initials. Message about the browser update was sent to all kids and parents. Okay, so, you know, make sure your browsers are up to date. I think you can just put initials, um, but, I mean, I would put my full name. I mean, I, I don't, there's a lot. I mean, there's another Jonathan Green teacher in Palm Beach County. So, um, yeah, full price for a 45-minute exam, exactly. Um can we open the AP exam in a different browser 
like Firefox and use Chrome. Man, again, don't ask me to cheat. You're on the same computer. I wouldn't do anything like that. I would not use Grammarly because what they said was um, Grammarly just, uh, it registers as like uh, something weird and it makes it seem like you're cheating, right? Um, okay, so I guess it's the initials. Does the way we cite documents matter at all or no? No, I mean, it really doesn't. The, the, the only thing that matters on the citing is that it, that you're clear on what you're citing, okay? Um, so if you can't, I said, I can't remember who it was. Somebody asked me that question and I said, you know, if you're citing something, make sure you're specific on what you're citing um, and you don't, you know, you can just say document one and that's fine and then you'll be good. In document two, that's fine, that's good. But if you are not very, um, you know, clear on what you're citing and it's not very clear on like say an author or an audience or something like that as to how you could refer to it like in Roosevelt's speech, you know, that's easy. But if it's something where it's like just a congressional something in and you have other congressional things in there, tr then just start using the, the, the number of the document. Um, okay, all right, I'll do the initials. Uh, you are putting your API ID. Oh, that's true, your API ID. So you're good on that. Um, yeah, but they won't. They don't take off for spelling. So, um, you know, almost all of them have spell check. Uh, but yeah, they said that was fine. Mr. Green is the outside evidence the same as the evidence beyond the documents? Because in one of Homer's history, he just restated the same points but explained it further. Yeah, I mean, it can be the same, but you have to make sure that you're explaining it a lot further. Um, so when you have evidence uh, is different beyond the documents um, is different than your um, your analysis, right? Analysis and, re and reasoning. Um, so that's going to be, they're going to be different. Um, John Brown's, but I have to look those up. Yeah, you, don't quote them, uh, Thomas. You're wasting your time and you don't need to. You won't get points for quoting them. Um, it won't really help you out. Um, it's better just to paraphrase. Uh, yeah, don't quote them. Um, that's, it, you just don't need to. Hold on, my phone's blowing up. Oh, my sister told me to take the glasses off. Uh, should I take the glasses off? There we go. Not better. Um, I re-downloaded Chrome and it still doesn't work. Oh, Adam, that sucks. Um, hmm. You should have just had been able to update it. What are you doing? Um, is evidence beyond the document supposed to be in the same time period as the prompt or before the time period like contextualization? Um, well, if you look on the rubric, okay, um, it says evidence beyond the documents. To earn this point, the response must describe the evidence and must use more, use more than a phrase or reference. This additional piece of evidence must be different from the evidence used to earn the point for contextualization, okay? Um, describes the second piece of specific, um, yeah, what we got here, keep the shades, see, keep the shades, that's what I said, I think they look good, um, Oh, it would be so, they, I don't know how, I don't think they could have done it, Michael, if they didn't have AP Classroom this year. Um, you know, I've been teaching for five years. If they, you know, well, I've been teaching way longer than that, I'm saying, but like five years ago, if we tried to do this, um, if we tried to do this just teaching, just putting in grades, you, we couldn't put grades in online. 
So that would have been impossible, this whole thing. Um, this isn't, there isn't really a better time period for this to happen and not like affect everything. How would you mention the part for contextualization? Um, well, your contextualization is, it's, you're just describing the broader historical context. Okay. So again, I'm just using the same one. If you're talking about women's suffrage, okay, what's the broader context? Um, that's the women's rights movement, right? Or the progressive movement. And that's broader than, uh, you know, women's suffrage. Um, you update it, uh, I believe it's, I gotta keep petting him so he doesn't, uh, I believe it's history, no. Downloads, no. Downloads, no. Settings, is it settings? I'm trying to find it. I'm not like a, you know, I know stuff, but it takes me a long time to do stuff. Does anybody know? Um, yeah, I heard it's free uh, on the Epic Games Store, but that's on the PC. I don't like playing stuff on PC. Um... Yes, it should be, Milena. Oh, okay, Amy. I know. Um, if you're on the latest version, Adam, and it's still not working, I don't know. Um, it shows the update button if there's an update. That's why I don't have one. Yeah, it, it, then you have the, the latest one. Um, oh, you see what, uh, Adam, you see what Navika's saying? Um, it's saying, so she shut it down restart three times before it worked. Oh, yeah, we'll play some, some COD, some Warzone, right? And also some Forza. I've been busy the last couple weeks, haven't been on. Uh, doing it much. Right, buddy? Yeah, I guess. I know, when stuff doesn't work out, it's the worst. I don't know what schwap means, if it means awesome. Oh my gosh, look at all this hair I've done... Pet it off you, buddy. You're shedding. Right? It's okay. I don't care. Um, I'm waiting to run some Warzone with you. Yeah, yeah. You'll probably destroy me in Warzone. Forza. I'm going to scoot you back, okay? You're okay. You're okay. I just want to get your head on the on the bed. Right? There you go. Well, you're not hanging off. Um... I could take you in Forza, not in Forza, that fake one, uh, Forza Horizons, and the real Forza, I got you. Um, yeah, I don't think it does either, but uh, I'm gangster at Forza. I mean, I'm not the best in the world, but, you know, I'm also pretty good in real life. I'm going to go and looked at the, we got 63 people. That was crazy. Yesterday we got up to 265, I think was the highest. If I can't access College Board on my computer, I'm just going to type on Docs on my computer and then paste attach it on my phone. Yes, that's what I would do. The problem is, but can you access it through um, your email? Adam, if if they send you they sent you the email, can you go in through it that way? <laughs> Funny Edward. Uh, he's just trying to get a. He's just joking. Well, at least I hope so, right, buddy? You could pass the test now. I think so. 
You're smart enough. The site only stops working once I log in. What? Oh my gosh. Adam, I'm not IT, I'm sorry. I wish I knew like the exact answer to tell you. King Cotton? You know what King Cotton is. Right before, um, it's not too late for anything. Right, buddy? King Cotton is, uh, is right before the Civil War, right? I mean, it's that whole time period, really from 1810 to 1860, right? Is just the time period in which cotton is just dominating all facets of life. Um, and they own, they own everything. Um, they're, uh, they're controlling politics. They're controlling uh, government. What you doing? You just sitting up? Yeah, sit. There you go. All kinds of gangs. Yeah, you guys got all kinds of gangs. forgot my name yeah you're good i just worked on one page after logging in and then immediately stopped oh they said hi spencer they did yuri did hey yuri Um, yeah, so you guys have two hours, two hours, so you gotta log in and do the security stuff, right, buddy? Plenty of time. Thank you, Hunter. I mean, you can do it, you know, you can type and definitely, um, you know, send it to your, it's just going to be, you know, a lot more work. Um, yeah, he's getting old. Uh, he, uh, he's getting a little older. He used to be solid black. I'm talking like solid black he just had one little tiny white spot on his chest and he had no you couldn't see him at night out in the yard you couldn't see him at all we used to put like a, a neon thing around his neck so you could see him all right buddy you were crazy back then he was a crazy dog he's a black dog that's right thomas I told you guys he was just a black dog. Not a specific one, but a good one. Edward, you are late. Yeah, Edward's late. Late to the discussion. Is it raining out there? Yeah, I think it's raining now. Car club rules. Yes, it does. Matthew. Let me try to see if there's another uh, cruise somewhere. 
Civil yes, Civil Wars period five. Oh my god. Phone's blown up. Troubleshoot. Check your browser. And make sure you are running the latest. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Amy. Um. <laughs> uh. My wife said hi too. Uh, would it be better if my power just went out in Palm Beach? Then we would all have to do it the retake, right? Yes. You don't. But you don't want to do a retake. Um. The problem with a retake. Uh, all right, Navika, we'll see ya. Um, the problem with the retake is if something happens in the retake, you have, there's nothing after that. Right, buddy? Um, so it, it, it's gonna, yes, that's what I'm gonna do. Alex, probably live stream around 3.30. Um, Yeah, you don't want, um, oh, is that the spot? That's the spot, huh? Um, you don't want to take the retake because if something happens, you know, say beyond like, you know, whatever, your Wi-Fi goes out again, you know what I mean? Or uh, you just forget or you forget to hit submit, then you're done. And then you have no, nothing after that. You want to get this done now. You don't want to have to keep waiting. Um... Cause then you have to keep studying, right? And make sure everything's fresh in your mind. And that's that's another, you know, two weeks from now. Over two weeks. I think it's the second. I don't think anybody will be relieved until July. Right? That's that's the point. Um No anxiety, right, buddy? They don't need anxiety. They're going to pass. They're all going to pass. They're going to do very, very well. As long as they read through everything I gave them. No. Yeah. Nobody wants to. I do not want you guys waiting till June to take it. That's that's not a good, uh, a good thing. All right. Thanks, Bitch Shot. Well... That was a nice long stream. I think we can call it a day. Um, and, uh, you know, we'll, we'll reconvene, you know, 3.15, 3.30, something like that uh, after your exam. Let you guys have a little break. And, uh... See you after the exam, Alyssa. Good luck, everybody. I'll send you guys a couple more uh, inspiring memes here. Ooh, McDonald. I don't even know where everybody complains. All right. Uh, good luck to everybody. Bye, Sophia. We'll see you afterwards. You guys got it, right? I'm not going to do a Zoom. I can't do Zoom. I mean, I'm not allowed to do Zoom, so I can't do Zoom. It would have to be a meet if I did something. Um, <laughs> uh, see ya, Alex. See ya, Gabby. Maccas. Shout me some Maccas. I don't know what that means. Sorry. I'm not up with that lingo, buddy. I don't know all of it. Good luck. Bye, Siona. Good luck, everybody. I don't I can't I can't do that. Because I don't know, like the last time I played music, it it uh it blocked the entire the thing for a couple hours. You got a meeting with Boulevard. Okay. See ya Nathan. See ya Michael. See ya Elda.
All right, I guess I got to end it. I'll end it. See if I can do it with my left hand. All right. Let's get Danny a, one more uh, play here as an exit. All right. So we'll play this. You guys can still uh, comment. It's so great. See you guys later. See you after the exam. Give me some questions if you got them.